The Russian invasion of Ukraine has the world on edge as all eyes are on the man leading the country, a former comedian turned president, Volodymyr Zelensky. Here with more is one of my writers, a native Russian who emigrated to America from the former Soviet Union, Dina Gusovsky, everybody. That's right. I am a Russian Jewish refugee. My family and I fled the former Soviet Union 30 years ago. In fact, here is a picture of me and my mom right before we came to America. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, her tickets to the United States were good for one woman and one ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> I mean, it's scary enough coming to a country where I did not know the language and culture, and it's even more terrifying than I did it looking like this. <laughs> this picture was from the 1990s, but apparently the cameras in Russia at the time were from the 1920s. <laughs> to take this picture, I had to sit still for 30 minutes. <laughs> And despite the fact that I did grow out of being a tiny man, uh, to this day, I often feel like a walking contradiction in America. I mean, I eat Russian food, immerse myself in the culture, and I still speak Russian every day to my parents, my grandmother, and people from Greenpeace asking me to sign their petitions. Oh, really? What, what do you say, Dina? У меня нету времени. Ну, имейте замечательный день. Oh, that really sounds scary. What does it mean? It means I don't have time, but have a wonderful day. <laughs> and look, just because someone in America speaks Russian and always looks miserable, that doesn't mean that they support Putin. <laughs> but I can see how that can be confusing to non-Russians, especially since the good guy and the bad guy are both named Vladimir. <laughs> and despite the fact that I had been told many times to go back to Russia, shout out to my fifth grade teacher, <laughs> I am, yeah. I am so, so grateful to be an American. I have never been more proud of my parents for bringing me here. And I have never felt luckier than to work for you, Seth. Me? To have a comedian as a boss. President Zelensky is showing everyone just how brave comedians are. Right, Seth? Uh-huh, uh yeah. <laughs> I bet if you could, you would go to Ukraine right now and fight alongside the Ukrainians. I, you told, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Wish I could. Oh, you can. Sorry, what's that? You totally can. Uh, foreign nationals are not just allowed, but encouraged to go to Ukraine to fight for freedom. I'm just <laughs> with you. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think you'd go. Nobody did. Uh, Look, Seth, we can't forget, this is Putin's war. And while he might be trying to divide Russians and Ukrainians over there, here in America, we are united and steadfast in our support for Ukraine. I have so many Russian and Ukrainian immigrant friends. I mean, we speak Russian. We eat a beet soup called borscht, served with sour cream and raw garlic. And when we really want to treat ourselves, sunflower seeds. Another thing we have in common, uh, we're all very close with our babushkas, our grandmothers. My grandmother was born in Kirovgarad, Ukraine, uh, survived the Holocaust, and witnessed the Cold War. Uh, she was only able to come to America in her 60s, and she happens to be this country's biggest cheerleader. This is her. <laughs> she, she loves America. And Seth, it's like my babushka says, Pust этот кусок говна русский президент идет к черту. Was that just another harsh sounding Russian thing that wasn't so bad? No, it means <laughs> Dina! Sorry, grandma's got a filthy mouth. All right, we'll let it go. Dina Gusovsky, everybody, we'll be right back.